we all know that state councillors are people who are sworn in to defend the constitution, to advise those in power. And if those people in power, particularly in government, are not heeding or respect the views or the positions of the state councillors, the state councillors have a duty to come out and inform the people about the prevailing situation in the country. And once they do that, it does not mean that the people in government have been flushed out. The answer is not. We want to condemn the way Dave's Chama and Dave's Miller have come out insulting the people who are sewn in, regardless of the president who did that, to respect them. For one to attain the status of a state council, one has to be very honest, professional, and hardworking. And it's from there that they stand firm to advise those in power collectively. And if we are going to tolerate this kind of attitude that is being portrayed by the patriotic front leaders, then we are breeding dictators in this country. And this has to be condemned. I still stand strong that the position that State Council Sangwa and other state councillors have taken is a noble one. And those in power, if they feel it's not towards their favor, it's high time they reflect it and did the correct thing. Zambia is a democratic state. As such, the law, the constitution, ought to be allowed to be at play. Anyone who violates it, it has to be pointed out. Further, the patriotic flanged leadership should sit term those I've mentioned. And we have heard how a provincial chairperson can insult the judges willful and the top breast of patriotic front is mute. To me, this kind of attitude should be checked. If we are going to allow our society to proceed with this kind of attitude, believe me not, this country will be governed. And this country will be lawless. And then there's no need then to allow the patriotic front to proceed in government. And I've heard that they are standing in 2021 20, elections next three months from now. The question is to do what?